Hi, I'm Chris Donnelly from Huawei. Uh, as Ildiko mentioned, uh, I am the chair of the ONAP Architecture Subcommittee. Um, and uh, for many of you uh, who are not familiar uh, with ONAP, uh, it's the Open Network Automation Platform. Uh, it uh, was formed a year ago uh, from the merger of uh, Open Ecomp and Open O uh, orchestration platforms. And uh, it, uh, it looks at the Etsy Mano uh, infrastructure and then expands beyond that, including uh, SDN uh, networking and uh, uh, full automation and inventory. Um, we are currently working on our second release, which should be out in just a couple of weeks. And uh, we were named uh, Rookie of the Year, uh, Open Source Rookie of the Year uh, by Black Duck Software uh, for 2018. Uh, we have a, a very active developer community uh, in the uh, last year. Uh, we had uh, 580 different authors touch the code base uh, and uh, over 26,000 commits. Uh, and uh, this is as of last week. Uh, going forward, um, uh, so here's uh, the architecture uh, that uh, we are building uh, in our Beijing release, uh, which will be uh, released in about two weeks. Um, and uh, we have uh, a design time environment uh, for uh, creating uh, new services, and then also a separate runtime environment uh, that includes uh, the service orchestration, as well as a series of uh, controllers uh, for uh, applications uh, and uh, uh, network configuration. Um, we have a full policy framework uh, and uh, an inventory system, uh, and then uh, analytics, uh, data collection anal and analytics engine as well. Uh, we do uh, currently deploy all of our VNFs uh, on top of uh, OpenStack uh, or uh, on top of VMware. Uh, and uh, we are in the process of adding support uh, for Kubernetes uh, and also public clouds. Uh, and uh, we have a, a VNF onboarding uh, program that provides uh, packaging tools and validation tools uh, for uh, new VNFs. Uh, up to this point, uh, for the first two releases, uh, we were not considering uh, edge cloud deployments. We were focused on uh, deploying at the central sites. Uh, and uh, we have recently uh, spun up an ad hoc uh, working group uh, to focus on edge cloud and uh, to bring in edge cloud support uh, into our Casablanca release, uh, which we expect by the end of the year. And. Uh, as you've heard from many of the other speakers, uh, there are many places that could be called edge. Uh, it could be the customer devices themselves, uh, or the customer prem, uh, or the access network, or even uh, central offices. Um, and what really characterizes the edge is uh, the requirements uh, around latency and bandwidth uh, driven by use cases uh, as opposed to uh, one specific location. Uh, so uh, we need to uh, focus on uh, different deployment scenarios uh, to support uh, these diverse requirements uh, and uh, the latency uh, needed for the use cases. Uh, we do have uh, a, an active group, um, about uh, 20 different companies uh, who have been uh, talking about uh, Edge Cloud uh, and uh, uh, some of the requirements and then how we bring that into our Casablanca release. And uh, for our third release for Casablanca, uh, we've been uh, considering a number of use cases, but uh, uh, for the purposes of an illustration, uh, I'll just show you uh, 5G uh, today uh, for mobile devices. Um, we, uh, at the top, uh, we will have a centralized uh, uh, deployment of ONAP uh, as we have today, uh, but uh, Extending further, uh, we may have uh, another version of ONAP uh, uh, closer to the edge, um, the little, uh, the light blue box, um, and that may attach to an internal cloud, uh, which uh, could deploy uh, VNFs and workloads on uh, OpenStack, on Kubernetes, on VMware. Um, we also want to partner uh, with uh, additional uh, external cloud providers uh, and this could be Azure, uh, Amazon, IBM, uh, and many others. Uh, and uh, so we will need uh, uh, connectivity to the partner gateways uh, as well for part of this. 
And when we went through ONAP, uh, we uh, looked at uh, the requirements uh, to uh, extend uh, this level of support. Uh, and there are two things that we need to do uh, in our Casablanca release. Uh, the first is uh, to extend the models uh, to include uh, our uh, Edge Cloud uh, IAS and PAAS attributes. Um, and uh, this is uh, to allow uh, the workloads to be uh, distributed, uh, highly secure, uh, configuration diverse and cloud diverse, um, and also capacity constrained and, and performance and isolation aware. Uh, we've been putting um, a number of uh, components uh, in already, uh, such as uh, hardware platform awareness into the Beijing release. And so we'll be extending that uh, in the Casablanca release. Um, the uh, second piece, uh, which is new for us, uh, is hierarchical uh, central and edge architecture and functional interactions. Um, the uh, big uh, stretch is adding the hierarchical orchestration. Uh, and uh, we have been uh, working on this, uh, preparing for this uh, over the course of the Beijing release. Uh, and uh, we're putting together uh, the finalizations for uh, Casablanca uh, to go uh, our planning cycle will close uh, in the middle of June, and then we'll be uh, deploying from that point. Uh, and uh, so we have a, a set of work items uh, that we are scheduling uh, that will be available uh, by the end of the year. And we want to engage uh, as one of the newer communities, uh, we do want to engage uh, with uh, the wider ecosystem um, we are at OpenStack this week. Uh, today, uh, just uh, across uh, in the East Building, uh, we're having an OMAP architecture meeting uh, all day. Uh, and uh, we have an Edge Cloud session uh, at uh, 3.45 approximately uh, this afternoon in room 11. Uh, you're welcome to join us uh, there. Uh, also, uh, tomorrow, uh, we are presenting uh, ONAP uh, in Edge Computing, leveraging OpenStack at 150. Uh, so it'll be a longer version of uh, the talk that I gave here, uh, going into uh, far more details uh, about the use cases uh, and uh, some of the requirements. Um, also, uh, I'd like to invite you to participate in our uh, weekly uh, architecture meetings, uh, which are uh, Tuesdays at 7 a.m. Pacific, um, and also uh, the Edge Automation uh, Working Group meeting, um, which are Mondays at 8 a.m. Pacific. Uh, all of the information is up on our wiki. Uh, and uh, I'd like to uh, call out uh, the uh, participating companies. Uh, the uh, Edge Automation Group uh, is being led uh, by uh, Sienna and VMware uh, with uh, participation uh, from about 20 companies, uh, including uh, major service providers as well as uh, equipment vendors across the industry. So thank you very much, and I hope that you will all join us uh, as uh, we build out our Edge Cloud support.